everyone, and thank you for joining us for another episode on Ion Hako. My name is Nicole. Hi everyone, my name is Kenta. And today we will be discussing the FT802 Thermal Wire Stripper. Yep, the FT802. This product is similar. Uh, it's a competitor. May say it's going to be a competitor of this FT802. And actually, um, to the, we brought this over to the several accounts and uh, had them tested it out. And we have the operators uh, compliment us on our product, saying that this is better than Ooh, the Mesa's. How exciting. So the FT802 is our third generation yes. of the thermal wire stripper. So we're going to put up a slide right now. You can just kind of see how our thermal wire stripper has evolved over right. the years. So the evolution, okay. you guys can see the evolution of the product. It started off with the FT800. Mm -hmm. And then the second generation is the FT801. Yep. And then now we have the new FT802 right here in front of yep. us. I think we should dive into the improvements. Of, improvements? Yep. Um, there's several different improvements, uh, station and the handpiece. What do you want to? Let's start with the station itself. Start with the station, sure. Yeah. So the FT802 station, it's this one I have in front of me right here. There are several improvements that we made to the station. Uh, one of them is the uh, handpiece holder. Okay. Right here. The handpiece holder is here. You don't need a separate handpiece holder anymore. The holder is now incorporated into the station. So you place this handpiece on the station like so. There's also blade holders in the back here. You have extra set of blades that you can now put in to the station itself. So okay. the blade holder incorporated into the station. Okay. And also this metal piece right here, that is a blade removal plate. Okay. So the blade removal plate is also incorporated into the station. So those are some of the improvements made to the station. Oh, there's also um, another feature that's okay. been added to the FT802. Um, and what is that? Kim? It's a uh, higher output setting. Okay. On the FT802 or the FT801, the highest output it can reach was 100% of power. Okay. And but on the FT802, you can actually go into the parameter settings, make changes to the parameters, and you can go from 100% all the way up to 120%. Got it. So that's a, that's a, that's a new feature that's added on to the FT802. Really nice feature to have. So those are the, the, like the high output setting on the station. For example, that's a, that's a difference between the 801 and the 802. Right. The 801 can only go up to 100%, whereas on the FT802, if you access, go through the parameters, you can go all the way up to 120%. Right. Plus, the 801 did not have the um, built-in built handpiece holder, uh, the blade removal plate, or the blade holders on the station itself. 14 to 16 gauge is not on the standard handpieces, but if we see a need for them, we can talk about customs, but as a standard, we do not have a 14, 16 gauge. Okay, so, so improvements we, to the station. Right. We're Let's get, into, get into the improvements to the handpiece do that. itself and then the blades. So this is the old uh, handpiece, the FT8002 handpiece right here. And this is the newer FT8004 handpiece. You can see that the FT8004 handpiece has been completely redesigned handpiece. It now has a tweezer construction for its backbone. That's this piece right here that I'm talking about. By putting in that tweezer construction, it gives it that nice alignment when you bring the blades in closer together. So that is a big change from our previous model, the new and redesigned handpiece. Okay. And also on the blades themselves, the new blades being used on the FT. 8004 handpiece. They're now called G4 blades. Those are what yeah. the blades look like, the G4 blades. And okay. there are a couple improvements that we put into the G4 blades. One of them being that the blades are now sharper. And also another key improvement is the positioning of the heaters of the blades. They're now right next to the blades themselves. So it gives it that nice uh, thermal heat transfer. So again, a couple improvements to the blades, the sharper blades themselves, and the positioning of the heater are now right next to the blades, giving it that nice heat transfer. And we're going to put up a slide so you can, uh, you should be seeing a slide right now that's just touching on the points that Kenta was talking about 
um, with the different features. So again, um, compared to the old handpiece, the new handpiece, completely redesigned handpiece, giving it that with that nice tweezer construction for its backbone, mm -hmm. helps really helps with the alignment when you bring the blades in, and also the sharper blades and the positioning of the the new positioning of the heater, bringing it much closer to the blades gives it the nice heat transfer and the sharper blades give it a nice clean cut. So these new blades, like I mentioned, they're called G4 blades. Yep. We have three different types of blades available for the G4. Uh, the Dash 1601 is the straight type. Mm -hmm. The Dash 1602 ranges from 18 to 28 gauge. And the Dash 1603 goes from a 26 gauge all the way down to a 38 gauge. So those are the G new G4 blades. So these are the new blades. The blades are still interchangeable, as you can tell. So when the blades uh, go out, you don't have to replace the entire handpiece. You can just pull out the blades and replace the blades themselves. Okay. And the way you do it is uh, you take the blades and you insert it into the handpiece, like so. Okay. And there will be two set screws that you would have to tighten on these two locations. Okay. And on the station itself, I mentioned earlier that there is a blade removal plate. So this is the blade removal plate here. All right. And once you remove this, completely remove the set screws on the handpiece, you just have to put the blades in here and pull out, and nice. it'll remove the blades and leave them there. So okay. that is the blade removal plate. There are various types of insulations that the FT802 can strip. Uh, the actual product comes with a little um, guideline sticker that you can place on the side. For example, you can do uh, polyethylene, nylon, uh, silicone, and Teflon, to name a few. Do I think it's important to mention the conversion kit? Oh, right, the conversion kit, yeah. yes. Um, what Nicole's talking about, the conversion kit, for those people who still have the FT801, but wish to use the FT8004 handpiece with the new G4 blades, uh, you may do so um, with a separate conversion kit available. Uh, just purchase that conversion kit and uh, the new handpiece along with the G4 blades uh, will work on the old FT801 station. Let's do a demo. So we'll turn the station on. Okay. So right now I will, the operation remains the same. Okay. So the way you change the setting is you can press and hold any one of these buttons and the display will flash like so. Okay. And I'm going to turn this up to say 90% and once you got your uh, desired setting just press enter. Okay. And then the flash means that it's uh, getting up to its setting. All right. Okay. And once it's reached its setting it'll become solid but the holder so that? right when you put it in the holder, it went to sleep. Right. The SLP means sleep. This you is a safety out, feature. And then it says 90. Anything above 80, 85% and higher, it'll instantaneously go to sleep as a safety feature. Okay. So right. can you change that setting as far as sleep mode is concerned? Yes, you can. You can change the timing of the sleep anywhere from 1 minute to uh, 30 minutes. Okay. So, for example, you can go into the parameters and change it to five minutes. So, five minutes after you put the handpiece into the uh, the holder, okay. it'll go into sleep mode. How long the do the blades Blades will last. last uh, depends on how frequently you use the blades at one percentage of power. Um, obviously, the higher percentage uh, you use it at, at a hundred percent. And I mentioned that you can go even higher than 100%. You can use it at 120%. Mm -hmm. But if you go from 100% to 120%, then the blades will um, burn out quickly. So be careful. Be aware of that. Okay. Um, the maximum temperature at 100%, I can tell you in Celsius, is about 710 degrees Celsius. And at 120%, I believe it was about 780C. Okay, are you all set to do a demo? Uh, I think so. I have this Teflon wire, okay. outer Teflon with the inside. There's also two wires on the inside. So I'm using a 1601 straight blade. And I'm just gonna... What are you doing? Score this, turn it around, give it a nice turn. Okay. 
and then break off the insulation. You're breaking the insulation and then you're gonna and then pull off pull the it off. Wire like so and then you okay. get the inner wires exposed. Nice. Spread those out. And then again using the st same straight blade. You can score it again. Okay. Break off the insulation. And then it'll obviously <laughs> come off like so. Nice. That's one side. Okay. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. So score it. Okay. Twist and turn. Break off the insulation. Okay. And then the wire Should insulation come. comes off. Like so. It was at 55% for the outer, outer Teflon and the inner insulation material. When using the new handpiece on the FT801, uh, try to keep it under 80% uh, because there will be a overshoot that happens just because of the new handpiece um, being used on the FT801, there'll be an overshoot. So if possible, try to keep it below 80% in usage. So now that <laughs> I got mine out of the way. Ah, my turn. Okay, I'm ready. So my wire is a 26 a, gauge, 26 right? 26 gauge is a general um, electrical wire, but and it's a 26 gauge. So we put in the uh, G41602 blades and the 26 gauge is the second notch from the top. Okay, and I'm at 15%, 15%. just so you know. All right, second from the top. Score it and then you can gently pull the insulation off. Nice, did you see that? That's how all. clean that was? So you can, why don't you do another one? All right. Uh, there, there we go. go. <laughs> so score it, give it a nice few turns, and then you can gently pull. Yep. There you go. Very easy. Nice. All right, nice. I did it. And if yeah. I can do it, you, you can, can do, do it. it. Uh, with the station, we have this reference chart. You can use that reference as a, uh, that chart as a reference. For example, on the chart, it says Teflon. You want to show uh, it. PTFE. This there is the go. chart that I'm talking about. Nice. It comes with the station. You can use this as a reference or a guideline to start off with. Um, obviously, depending on the, the diameter, the material, uh, you're going to have to go lower or higher. So that's something that the end users will have to experiment with once they have the product. Thank you all. Really nice. And if we have nothing else, until next time, remember, keep, keep your, your eye, eye on Hako. Hako. Bye, everyone.